Hello everyone, and welcome back to All The Mod 6. We are back on the server, and let's just take a minute to look at everything. Everything looks pretty good, right? We have some structures over there, they're sort of floating around. They look a little bit weird. I did colour them in the past, but they, they decided to uncolour themselves, so I've sort of just left them, assuming it'll happen again. Um, everything sort of looks good, though. There are some areas, to be fair, like, the these parts here don't really have any floor or, like, structure around them, so I'll definitely have to think up some sort of, uh, some sort of theme to go there. Same with this little pedestal area, but... Everything else, for the most part, maybe the enchantment table, uh, too. Everything else sort of has its little little theme, little design that goes to it. I'm thinking about sort of doing a little bit more fun design stuff, and hopefully, hopefully the title is correct, because hopefully we get to doing it. I want to check out some Create. Um, we can have a look at it here. We've messed around with it in the past. I believe on the Die Wolf 20 mod pack, we didn't play it for too long, but we played it enough to sort of mess around with Create, and... It is quite a fun little mod pack, and I say little, but as you can see, it's not that little. Um, essentially, you mess around with gears, you get things turning and spinning and whatnot. Um, you can do some normal modded stuff, like I think you can do ore doubling, that sort of thing, smelting things. Um, but you can also make things move, and that's pretty cool. Now, if you remember in the past, um, we checked out the quest book, and it had been updated with a phenomenal, a phenomenal amount of new quests, right? And they're not here anymore. Because I, I think there were some issues with them and they've gone back and like, they're working on it again, which is insane. Because I thought, just from looking at it, it was near perfect. Pretty much, they were all similar to this, where like, every single aspect of the um, the mods was were in here. But they also had like, uh, information alongside with the actual items themselves. So it was a very, almost like a tutorial in a, in a quest book. And Create was in there. So I, I was going to check out Create using that quest book, but sadly, I cannot find Create anymore. Um, so we're just going to have to go off what I know, which, it, it's not a lot, but it's enough to, you know, get some, get some cogs turning. Um, so we're probably going to need some gears. Um, I believe they're called gears. Maybe not. Hmm. Maybe they're called wheels. <laughs> oh, wheels? Oh, wait, I think I saw one. Yeah, they're called cog wheels, right? Yeah, so there's a small cog wheel, there's a big cog wheel, and that's pretty much the only sort of, like, cog wheel stuff. Um, these gearboxes as well. They're sort of like um, a combination of cogwheels, a little contraption, but confined into a gearbox. So there's some pretty cool stuff here. Um, I guess we'll get started. I don't particularly know where I'm going to build this. I guess I could do it maybe back here. O honestly, though, I'm not entirely sure <laughs> where I'm going to put it or what I'm even going to build. I just want to start building stuff because um, eventually we do need to get into Create if we want to build the ATM Star. I believe it's in here if uh, it wants to load. The ATM star does need to be built in this bad boy. A mechanical crafting star. So, we'll have to get into it. And and I want to, so... I, I'll try and figure out what I need. And an area to do it. I, I'm thinking maybe back here. Even though it's kind of... It's a little bit of an awkward area. Maybe this this little location here. It looks pretty nice. Um, I'll clear some of the grass here. Which shouldn't be too hard. And I'll meet you guys back here. Alright, we have a pretty nice area here where I guess we can get started. Um, what we are going to need are some of these cogwheels, and pretty much most of these recipes will require some interesting ingredients. Mainly, it's andesite alloy, which is a combination of iron nuggets and andesite, so it's not too difficult of a recipe, but let's just have a quick look at how much andesite we have. I don't... Yeah, we don't have a lot. In fact, I believe this amount we actually crafted from cobblestone using, um, some recipes. So, why don't I actually go ahead and add that recipe, um... To our system. I feel like that would make sense. So we're going to add the crafting for andesite. So that we can um, get this stuff automated in the future. The um, JEI has been a, bit, a little bit laggy today. So please bear with me. Oh, we do actually have some create stuff. I'll have to see what we actually have. Um, that, that is quite interesting. Let's clear this. Um, what was I looking for? Andesite itself. Andesite. Boom. We're going to click on it. We want this recipe, where it's diorite and cobblestone. So we're going to click this. Um, it's going to put red rock, but we're just going to change that out for cobble. Click that there. Um, exact. Yeah, why not? Create this. Boom. Andesite. Next, we need the recipe for diorite, because I don't think we have much of that. And that's just cobble and um, nether quartz, which I think, as you can see here, we have quite a bit of. We have... Is that 57,000? Yeah. I, I, I think we're fine on that department. And obviously, the cobble, we have like a near infinite amount, which is beautiful. So I will... Put these in one of these guys. Possibly this one. Maybe it could be full. Nope, it's not. Beautiful. One of you and one of you. Beautiful. So now I should be able to craft unlimited andesite. 
And that's pretty much it. So I guess I'll try and grab a stack of this. Okay, we'll get 28. That, that'll, honestly, that'll probably do for a little while. Um, the cogwheels also need quite a few buttons. So how about we look at what planks we have going? You know, I don't think we even have an auto tree farm this far into the series. We, we just don't have one. We, we don't have one. We don't have a tree farm. We have trees, but we don't have them auto farmed, which... I, that's pretty ridiculous, isn't it? I, I feel like it, it is. We'll put these buttons away. I'm sure we can use them. And let's have a look. Cogwheels. Beautiful. We can get eight of these. Um, we've apparently already used a bunch of our buttons. Um, and what about a large cogwheel? This uses planks and buttons and the alloys, and we get some cogwheels. Um, you don't get as many, but they are a bit different. Another thing we're going to need is some... I think they're called shafts? Yeah, these guys. Two andesite alloys. And pretty much these connect everything, right? And you can also get, I believe, a gearbox to sort of change the direction of where things are going. So we can make one of these because we actually do have that um, andesite casing, which I don't know how we have it, but we do. We also have an extra cogwheel. I'll bring that with. Um, a vertical gearbox. Okay. Um, I guess I'll grab the millstone and the water wheel so that we can test them out. And um, I have a bucket of water on me. Beautiful. Let's go see how these things work. <laughs> Um, I know how they work. I assume most of you know how it works, but no, I'm sure there's a few who have no idea what they're really looking at. So, first things first, we need to make rotational energy. We need to, we need to be able to get things spinning. So, what we're probably going to do is build a little bit of a, I guess, like a waterfall here. Um, maybe dug into the ground a bit. I'm sure that'll be nice. A little bit of water. Um, you know what? In hindsight, I should have gotten an extra, <laughs> an extra bit of water, but that should be fine. And then we can place a water wheel. Um, I think we actually want it to be like uh, here. Let's see. So as you can see, it's spinning. Now, I don't think it's spinning as fast because you can actually do something else. Let me try and figure out how to do this. Basically, we want water to be spinning on like all sides of it. So we're going to have to do a little bit of a little bit of remodeling here. Let me try and figure this out. Alrighty, I've set up this little structure and I've gone for nether brick because... I, I, I don't know, I guess it will look cool, it'll look different to everything else. And I believe if I place water here, oh, not there, if I place it here, it should flow across the top and then underneath. Now, as you can see, it's spinning a lot faster than it was before. And I believe if we actually let this drain, we can sort of see the different speeds. See how it, um, it changes? And we can look at it again. So it starts going a little bit slow and then a little bit faster and then a lot a bit faster, right? And it just goes around here. And I believe this is as fast as you can get it. Um, and you can actually do a few cool things. If we go ahead and try and get another water wheel. Oh, give me a second. Water wheel. Yeah, the JEI is being very, very laggy. I, I think, to be honest, I think I've got a, a Windows update that I'll have to do later. Um, I think it was downloading or is still downloading. So I do apologize for the absolutely horrendous frames, but everything's fine. Everything's definitely fine. So here we go. Water wheel is the large cog wheel surrounded by pine slabs. We can grab this. And we can actually just connect it to this other one. Um, so what I'm going to do is essentially recreate this structure we have. So just expand everything out just a little bit. Oh, that one can go. Pretty much just, you know, double this up. <laughs> you can see the feral flare lanterns trying to place blocks there. We can place this here. Then we can go boom, boom, break that. And yeah, essentially just place another water wheel right next to this one. All right, we'll um, dig down here. You know, pr pretty much just replicate it. We can break this as well, I believe. We can even break that stuff on the floor. I believe this, what I did instead, because you can place a block in this um, area. Let me pick up this water. You can place a block here, but that kind of looks weird. Um, and you can also place one, oh, you also place one on the side to stop the water from falling down, right? But I've actually gone ahead and make these, made these panels. And you make those with three uh, bricks like this. And it gives you, like, these side panels. They're essentially, like, vertical slabs, right? And so I can place them there, and then it looks a little bit better. So we can go ahead and place our water wheel next to this one, like that. Place our water bucket. We might need an extra one. Let's see. We do have one on us. Let's put another bucket back in. Da -da 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 -da. Place this guy here. And now both of these will be spinning, which will actually give us double the power, right? So we get the power from one water wheel spinning. And we get the power from the other. And you can just expand these. I don't know how far you can get them. I would assume somewhat infinitely. But that's pretty much the the gist of it, right? Um, we could even, I don't know, cap this off just to, I don't know, maybe make it look a little bit nicer. Does it even look nicer? I don't know. <laughs> it looks a little bit odd. I, I will admit that. Um, so at the moment, we've just got a spinning wheel. That 
that doesn't really do much, right? So what we can do is um, right-click a shaft on here, and as you can see, it starts spinning. And if we right-click on this part, we can expand it, and the cool thing is I can keep pressing it, and you can hear it placing, and just keep going. So, so that's how you can make like a vertical one or a one that goes down to the floor or one, you know, one that goes sideways, I guess, if that's what you want. And so here it is, a nice spinning wheel. Um, now on this guy, we can do a number of things. We can attach a large cog wheel, like so. And then we can actually have it connect to a small cog wheel. And that cog wheel is going to spin a lot faster than this cog wheel. It's just basic, um, it's how cog wheels work. If you ever played with, um... Are they called Lego Technics? You learn a lot about this. Um, or, or if you played with them in school, if you did like one of those classes, it's pretty cool. You can essentially make a, a a better gear ratio to make things go faster because then you can attach another cogwheel here. And this cogwheel is spinning at the same speed as the small one, right? But um, you might be thinking, oh, infinite power, unlimited energy. It uses more and more stress to do this. So like it's harder for it to spin but it keeps spinning at the same speed. So we can also do another small cogwheel like that. Oh, no, it, oh, that, that one won't place because it connects to this one. And then that doesn't make sense. But we can place it over on this side and look at how fast that's going. And you can do this a few different times. Eventually, you do hit a cap where it stops working. But before you get to that point, it goes really, really fast. Like, I mean, really fast. And that's not all. What we can do is we can attach it to certain machines that are a part of it. That is so fast. Uh, wait, wait. I hmm, I don't have another large cogwheel. I do want to make sure that we have the max speed because, I mean, that's cool, right? Let's let's see how fast we can get it. Um, so I'll place this guy here. <laughs> we'll um, attach this. Oh, my God. Okay, attach another one. Oh, I, I think this is the limit. I don't think I can actually place things on this. Yeah, we're only let me place things on here. Okay, that's fine. So... This speed is currently the fastest, so that many. <laughs> it, it's it's pretty ridiculous. Um, so we can attach stuff on here. It'll spin like crazy. Um, and there's also things like millstones. And essentially, you need it to spin in order for it to, um, you know, mill mill things. It has a few recipes we can actually have a look at. You can um, make different dyes. I believe you can make, like, um, you can process ores. You put nether gold in, you can get, like, crushed gold. I don't think it does ore doubling though. I think, yeah, you can put iron ore in, but you just get the one little bit back. Um, you can, I believe, get flour from uh, from wheat. Like, um, not, not a flour, but like, you know, flour to, to make dough and whatnot. You can also get other few uh, uh, other few things, like um, crushing uh, quartz. You might need that done, or, you know, wool to string. There's some interesting things, but basically, the way this guy works is the faster he spins, the faster he processes. Um, but the problem is, we can't actually place him on the side. We, we, we just can't. So what we need to do instead is... Do, 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 what I could probably do to make this look a little bit nicer is... I think if I place another cogwheel oh, there. There we go. Now we can see it's on the floor. In order to get this power to go up, we need a vertical gearbox. And I believe that's just a gearbox that's in the crafting table. So you make the gearbox like this with the cogwheels and uh, this casing is... Uh, a log, some planks, and anti alloys. You get four of them. And basically, we can place it like this. And as you can see, the rotational energy now goes up. Like that. How cool is this? So what we can do as well... I believe the way that you do that normally... Is... I Here, let, let, let me give a shot. Let me see if I can recreate this vertical gearbox using the actual cogs. So I believe what you would do is you would place... Um, I think you have to do it with the big cogwheels. But I think you do something. <laughs> Let me try and figure this out. A large... Oh, no. no. Is it really going to place it like that? Let me try and figure this out. Okay, yeah, yeah. Ch check out this. So I've broken that one that was under there and replaced it with this big guy. And we can actually see it highlights where it's going to place. So if we wanted it to go sideways, we can place this one. And now it goes sideways, right? But I believe... And now it's possible that I'm wrong, but I'm pretty sure you can place one up the top. So that's how you would normally get the rotational energy to go up, right? But instead of having this massive system here, instead what we do is we just place this little vertical gearbox and it does it for us. It's it's pretty nifty like that. You can also keep the uh the energy going in oh, going in all these other directions. I don't think it's cuz it's too close to this that uh, that doesn't work. Let me 
Let me test again. Let me duh, 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 place this, place this. We can place that there and that there. See? It's pretty cool. Um, I believe it might add a little bit of stress. I think you can get at create. Um, there's like a goggle that you can get maybe. Yeah, these. I believe engineering goggles will give you um, the ability to, to see how much stress is in your system. All right, but what we're going to do is slap down this millstone and everything is going to break. And that is because it is overstressed. The reason being is it's trying to turn this and use how much, however much stress it was. Let's um, check millstone. It uses a moderate amount of kinetic uh, impact. Are we allowed to actually see how much it is? Oh, I think we're opening a book. Oh, it's showing us how, how to get this working. This is a really cool little uh, feature here. It tells you everything about them. It tells you the cogwheels. Oh, you can actually spin it with cogwheels on the side. That is really cool. Look at that. I didn't know that. Um, but long story short, it needs moderate energy. And that, that um, scales up with the more and more speed that you have going. So if we want this to work, we need a lot more uh, water wheels, essentially. Which I kind of want to do. I want to see if we can get this guy spinning at max speed. Um, so... Let's go ahead and try and make some more water wheels, right? I don't see a problem doing this. Um, this might be a little bit messy. Let me let me get rid of the roof again so I can easily expand it. Um, so I'll expand these two extras. We'll see how that works. I believe, does it tell us? Generates 8 to 16 um, rotations per minute. Okay. Alrighty, here we go. Four of these down. Now, I don't know if this will be enough to get it running. Um, we also have a little bit of water here so that we can actually do this. Let's, um, let's see. Are they even spinning yet? No. Oh, well, they're not spinning because... Oh, there we go. It was because it was overstressed. That fourth one was just enough. So, as you can see, it starts off spinning this slowly. And through all these rotations, it ends up going this insanely fast. Um, let's give it a shot. Do we have... What do we have? Do we have wheat? We do have... I, I did see some. Here we go. 64 wheat. We have... Is that really... Do we have exactly a stack? Apparently. Um, let's chuck in a stack. Uh, I do have a magnet. Let me turn that off. What is that? What the? What is that? What am I looking at? That's a... It's appearing on the minimap as like a mob. What the? Okay. Did that go in, by the way? I think... Oh, and I took my backpack off. How is... What is it? What is going on right now? Oh, I right-clicked and... It looks like it's processing, yeah. So, you can see the wheat went in to begin with. We can put this much wheat in. And I believe it's working. And then when we right-click, it tries to output stuff. So, we get some seeds back. And we get some wheat flour. And it's going pretty fast. And then if we right-click a few too many times, we get the actual product back. Um, now, I believe what we could do is there's there should be a way to actually take that stuff out automatically. So, so to pull it out of the millstone. Um, I'm not entirely sure how to do it. But, I mean, we can experiment and figure it out. Let's um check create as well. I think a better system that I want to do is the one that they showed us, um, which might not work, but we'll see. I want to see, can I do this one? Yeah, there we go. I, I, I prefer this setup because then we can possibly put something underneath the millstone. In fact, how does this work? Oh, not at all is apparently how that works. Um, okay. So, in create, I know there's shoots, and that's possibly what I want. A shoot. So this will require an iron plate and these andesite alloys. Now the iron plate is a little bit tricky. Apparently we can make it with a multi-servo press. But I believe that... Isn't there like a metal press? Metal bracket? I swear there was like a... Some sort of stamping tool. Mechanical press. Here we go. I'm pretty sure this is what we actually want. Block of iron, andesite casing, some cogwheels, and an andesite alloy. Let's give it a shot. Let's see how this goes. We're going to need another cogwheel. That should be fine. Cogwheels. Boom. Mechanical press. Bam. We're going to need a block of iron, of course. Uh, I thought we were storing iron as blocks. I guess... No, I haven't. I don't think I've done that yet. Okay. Mechanical press. Here we go. Um, let's disconnect this for now. Let's disconnect this. Um, how does this guy work? Okay. He's overstressed. <laughs> this is honestly, like, way too fast. Let's, um... Let's slow it down. I feel comfortable with this speed. We'll, we'll see if it's enough. Let's have a look. Let's um, connect this mechanical press. So is it working? It's spinning, which means I, I, I think it's working. Um, and I believe we accompany this guy with either the basin. Um, or is it? Yeah. Okay. So you can put it in a basin. 
which does some cool stuff. Or you can just have it hit the ground, I guess. So I think what we want to do now is put some iron underneath it um, to get that the iron that we were after. So let's give this a shot. Let's see if that lands right under it. Okay, and there we go. As you can see, one of them has changed into the right bit of iron, and it will just keep going. So obviously, if we wanted this guy to run at the max speed, we would need quite a few more water wheels, or there, there are actually a few other options. Um, there is, I believe, a windmill, which we might actually make because they look really cool. If you watched, um, I think it was the last checking out base videos I did. Uh, I don't know if it's actually up yet. Um, the windmill looked awesome. It, it sort of made the whole base feel a lot... Um, it just felt a lot better. Uh, so I, I really want to build a windmill. It's also night... Let me... Is it daytime and it's rainy? Ugh. You know what? I'm just going to make it make it not rain. I mean, I'm going to cheat. There we go. I've successfully cheated and everything looks better now. Um, I definitely want to set up a windmill. Maybe like... um, I'm sort of feeling like maybe behind my house will look cool. So it's pretty cool that we've started building here because I think this might be a really good area to do it. Um, how's this going? Is it doing pretty good? Let's pick this up. Um, 22 iron sheets. Okay, there we go. Um, so now we should be able to make the thing we're after, which I've already forgotten what it was. What were we trying to make? You know what? Let's also get a gold going. A little bit of gold. So that we can get that, um, those goggles. Right? Boom. Oh, boom. Engineer's goggles. Here we go. There we go. Um, and can I put these on a bauble slot? That would be very nice, but apparently, nope, I've got to wear them. So now are we able to see stuff? Here we go. Kinetic stress impact, 320 stress units at current speed. Um, we can also look at the water wheels. Um, 120 S units, uh, stress units at current speed. Okay. So there we go. Now, I wonder if these lose performance, because I feel like they're spinning a lot slower. Are they? Like, I wonder if having more connected actually does make them slower. I, I don't really know. I'm not, not too sure, but... Okay, so I th I'm guessing each of these generate 160, and so this is running at 320, right? So I think, in theory, we can speed this guy up once more, because I think it doubles. Look, we're about to find out, at least. Um, we don't want to do this. Maybe down here. What is this going to be going at now? Let's place the mechanical press. 640 stress units. Okay. So, is that everything? Yeah, one... Yeah, okay, yeah, yeah. That, that makes sense. It did double. Beautiful. So this guy's going at, at max speed. Um, hmm. Yeah, interesting. Ah, yes. I was going to make the shoot. I just hadn't bookmarked it. Um, shoot. Here we go. And we get four of them. Um, I'm going to hold one on me. And let's try and set up the mill again. Now, I don't necessarily want it to go the, as fast as it was before. But um, we can definitely, you know, get it going. All right. So we have the mill spinning. I'm going to place the shoot underneath. And no attached fans, items move downward. Okay. Um, I think this is fine. And then maybe we set up a... Now, I don't know if we need a hopper or if we just need a chest. Um, I don't really know. So, so let's figure this out. I'll place a chest for now. In, in fact, actually, for now, we'll do nothing. Let's let's just experiment as it is. So let's grab the wheat that we have left over. Um, let's drop one in. See what happens. As you can see, the product gets dropped out the bottom. Now, if I directly connect the chest, do you think it will put it in the chest or just drop it? Let's have a look. So, oh, I missed. All right, I chucked it in. I don't see it dropped on the ground. So, is it? It's in the chest. So, how cool is that? This is an automated system. I, I can chuck this weed in. Da -da 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 -da. That'll go in and it will get processed and placed in here. How cool is that? Um, now, there's a few other things we can do. And one of them deter is whether we have kelp. We do have kelp. Um, okay. The problem is we want to be farming this kelp. That's that's kind of the issue. Um, we do have some water over here. How deep is this water? Um, it's not ridiculously deep, but I think it is enough that we can sort of get some kelp going. Um, so you place a little bit of kelp at the bottom. And it will just grow up, right? It will grow up tall. We have a dolphin in here? Awesome. Um... Now, if you're looking for kelp and you're on the server, a good place to go is actually the spawn. So, let's see if I have a, a waystone there. So, here we are at spawn. Uh, spawn is right there. Ooh, let me just walk forward. Here's spawn. Looks beautiful. There's some uh, captive bosses over there. Um, but in the water over here, just around the back, not claimed, is a bunch of tall growing kelp. Now, I do ask if you come and collect some of this stuff. Maybe just, you know, leave the bits at the bottom so that it has time to grow back. Um, and honestly, you probably don't need that much. I'm going to go ahead and turn my magnet back on. Oh, it's in my hand. Da -da -da. 
pick up all of this kelp. And we should be pretty good to go. 34 kelp sounds good to me. Alrighty, we'll take the kelp over here to the furnace and chuck it all in. And it will instantly smelt, which is ridiculous. I, I will never understand how fast that is. We also need to upgrade that guy too. I need, I need to remember to do that one of these episodes. Uh, but yeah, we get dried kelp. Now, dried kelp is pretty cool. Because you can turn it into a mechanical belt, I believe it's called. Um, mechanical belt. Here it is. Six of it turns into one belt. Um, we probably want a few of them. Um, and these can do some really cool things. Uh, this is, however, where it gets a little bit messy. I mean, it's already pretty messy, but at least this sort of makes sense. I'm pretty sure we can make this system here a little bit smaller as well. I believe it's called a gear... Um, Gear shift? Yeah, I, th I think it's called a gear shift. I, th I believe this is what we want. Um, adjustable. No, I don't think we really want a an adjustable. Let's get one of these. A gear shift. So it's going to cost some redstone, um, some small cogwheels and andesite casing. We can put some of this extra stuff away. Now let's get rid of these um, cogs and see what we can do. I believe the gear shift will, sort of like how the vertical gearbox replaced that cogwheel setup with just the you know, the vertical gearbox. I think the gear shift replaces that whole um, big cogwheel, little cogwheel system. So let's see. I'm going to place this guy here. Um, and so far, is he spinning at the same speed or is he spinning faster? Let's maybe, you know, it's a better option. Let's, let's be able to compare. So we'll place this guy here, gear shift, and this guy. They're both going at the same speed, right? Maybe? Or are they not? Honestly, I cannot tell. Oh, you know what it does do? If I place this on and right-click it, it starts spinning the other way. So that's pretty cool. Um, gear shift. Okay. Uh, I could be wrong. It, it is possible that I'm wrong, but I, I know that there's an item and I kind of don't want to have to search up what the item is. Sequenced gear shift, normal gear shift, adjustable chain gear shift. I feel like chain gear shift might be what we want. The other thing I'm thinking is what if we make two of these? Um, what if we make two gear shifts? So we're going to have to make more of these andesite casings. That's no problem there. Let's make another one. Because I... they These might multi-block together. Oh, not like that. But... Da, 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 break this. Like this. Do they look multi-blocked? I think they do. The question is... <laughs> um, is that how it works? It, it kind of... Kind of doesn't look like it, does it? I mean, it's not even spinning. Ooh, you know what it might be? An encased chain drive. Okay. Let's, <laughs> let's give this one a shot. This one... I mean, it sounds like it makes more sense, doesn't it? Yeah, this looks more familiar. The question is, is it spinning faster? You know what? We might need to get a few of them just to make sure. And um, I found them in this recipe. So in the adjustable chain shift, then I found the encased chain. So here we go. Let's make some more and see. Does it look like it's going faster and faster? Uh, they kind of all look like they're going the same speed. They're spinning at different times, but... They really do look like they're just going at the same speed, don't they? Uh, I feel like I'm I feel like I'm not really learning anything. To be fair though, this does make a pretty cool system where you've got them now expanding like this. So that's pretty cool. Um clearly though it's not really what we want, is it? I'm really <laughs> we're learning it the hard way. We're, we're just sort of building anything that sort of looks like it might do what we want it to do. Ooh, check out this. Okay. Okay, I'm learning. The, the pictures showed that it's a combination, I believe. Okay. Okay, okay, okay. Okay, I'm learning. I'm learning. So I believe what I would like to have... <laughs> we're, we're almost there. I, I, I've, I'm almost getting to my beautiful point that I'm trying to make. Whatever that may be. Let's put some of this junk away. Um, I believe we want this adju adjustable uh, chain thing. So we're going to need an electron tube which we haven't made before. This is going to cost us a redstone torch, which will make as many of those as we can. A stack, sure. And we're going to need a polished rose quartz, which is rose quartz with sandpaper. Um, rose quartz is quartz and redstone, like so. And sandpaper is sand and paper. Pretty interesting design. We can use end sand, I guess. There's no, really, no reason not to. If we press F, we can put it in our offhand. Then we can hold the quartz, hold right-click, it makes an eating sound, but I swear we're not eating it. And there we go. Polished rose quartz. We can make the electron tube. And then we can make our adjustable chain gear shift. So, my understanding is I place this guy here. Like that. I combine more gear shifts, I believe. Um, 
or actually, is it chain drives? I think it might be chain drives. I combine these, like so. And then I think I apply a lever here. Yeah, look at that. These are definitely spinning faster. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We can compare. Check that one. And check that one. Yeah. Okay, beautiful, beautiful. Now, my thing is, I believe all of these are spinning at the same speed. Yeah, they, they both appear to be spinning at pretty much the same speed. So I think if we want it to go faster again, what I would need to do is make another one of those things. So we're going to need another um, Rose Quartz, which I should probably bookmark. That'd probably make more sense. Get another one of these. Da, 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 da. Once you know that uh, that keybind to press F to switch the offhand item, everything gets a lot faster when you're doing, uh, you know, anything that needs an offhand. Um, da, 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 da. Where are we? I'm lost. This guy. Boom. Adjustable chain gear shift. So now I think I place this guy here and place another encased chain drive here. And we do pretty much the same thing. I get another lever. Da, 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 da. Lever. We don't really have many. Can I make a stack? I can. There we go. Place this here. Boom. Now that one's going even faster. Oh, yeah. Okay, that is beautiful. So now... Da, 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 da. Now we have a much smaller setup compared to what we previously had. What we previously had was just... a um, Well, essentially, these were just gears instead, right? So is it really that cleaner? Um, hmm. I'm wondering the be if there's a better way to, to have this set up. All right, I'm not, I'm not too sure if we can make this better, but what we could do is use an alternative to the water wheel and to the windmill. Um, and that is this guy here, a flywheel. Um, now, the problem is it requires mechanical crafting, so I don't really know if we'll get to it this episode. You know what? I could try. We, we could try and speedrun this a little bit, because I, I've never really done the mechanical crafting before, so it could be fun to try it out. We will, however, need um, brass ingots and apparently a brass casing. Um, so maybe I'll bookmark that and bookmark this and see what we need for this. So brass ingots, um, what are we going to need? Because I assume we have to use the create ones, so we might be limited in terms of uh, the way we can make it. We can use an alloy kiln. Now that would be the easy way to do it. The other alternative is with a heater, a mechanical mixer, which um, we don't have a mixer, do we? No. We could probably make one though. Yeah, a mechanical mixer, um, otherwise... Hmm. Otherwise, we can mix the crushed stuff. No. I, I think we need a mechanical mixer and a basin and then a blaze burner. How tricky are these? Honestly, it doesn't look too bad. I think we can make one. A and I feel like we should give it a shot. So first up, mechanical mixer. We're going to need a whisk, which uses uh, five iron sheets and two andesite alloys. Easy peasy. Um, our inventory is looking messier by the minute. And there we have it. Mechanical mixer, blah, 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 blah. Mechanical mixer, there we go. In English, it sounds a little bit better. <laughs> um, we're going to need a basin. That's just some andesite alloys. Ta-da. Um, next, we're going to need a blaze burner. So you start off with an empty one, which apparently uses um, those iron fences or iron bars. Then we get an empty blaze burner. And I believe what we do, we can hold W and actually have a look at a video for it. You apparently right-click a blaze with an empty burner to capture it. And then I guess that's it. Or you can use it on a blaze spawner. So that's one way to do it. And then I think it just works. So we have it on us. I believe there are plenty of blazes in the other. I believe they spawn quite rapidly. So um, I believe to get there, we go to the nether. And then we go through the mining portal. Right? Or whatever that portal's called. What's it called? Teleport pad. Ta-da. And we are here. We are apparently under the ground, but that should be fine. Let's just fly up. I already see a bunch of blazes on the map. We're almost getting there. We're at 90. Why 90? We're at Y100. You know, I'll meet you guys at the blaze. All right, easy peasy. Here's the blaze. I'm going to right-click him. And ta-da! He's in there. Beautiful. And I believe um, the hole that I came in is right here. So let's go ahead and fly back down. Empty our hand, and back we go. Alrighty, quick and easy. We now have a blaze burner. So, I believe what we do now is we can break the grass here, place down the blaze burner. He looks pretty cool. Little guy in there, he's, he's vibing. We can place at the basin above. And then I believe we place the mechanical mixer here, or does it have to be one block higher? You know what? It does need to be one block higher. So what I'm going to do instead is place the shift there, 
with the chain drive oh, above it. Oh, that did not really work. Above it like that. There we go. And the lever, which I do not know where it went. How did the lever disappear? What? Impossible. Anyway, I can slap this lever back on so that we can get the extra speed. Is that... Yeah, we can get the extra speed. <laughs> I was a little bit confused. Place our mixer there. Place our basin there. And there we go. And then underneath, the burner. Ta-da! And I also noticed this. You can place filters on them. I guess that's because I'm wearing my goggles. Looks a little bit different. Um, so this should be working, I think. I don't know if you need to power the blaze burner. I might look at the video again to, to see if that's a, a thing. But we should be able to make brass now. Um, using zinc and copper. Um, so, zinc, we have quite a bit here, and copper, hopefully we have quite a bit too. Our magnet is off at the moment, so I should be able to, it's a little bit messy. Do I just right click? No. Okay, let's, um, let's stand here maybe and throw them in. See how this goes. Alright, they're both in there. Um, the blaze burner, however, is not on. Um, we are probably going to have to watch a video then to figure out how to really get this working. Oh, the other alternative is, is this spinning? It might not be spinning. Hmm. You know what? They do actually need to be fed um, some sort of flammable material. So there we go. He's lit up now. So there's no excuse for this to not really work. Um, so the fact that it's not working is... I think I do need to uh, provide it with uh, some sort of spinning thing, right? So we are actually going to have to just move these over. I think just one block... Okay, ladies and gentlemen, check out this contraption. So, I have a gearbox here, so that we can put it over here and into a vertical gearbox, which then sends it down. Then I've just got small cogwheels going to the side here, to the side here, and up here, finally, to spin the uh, the mixer. So, now this should work. Um, we're going to have to provide this guy with coal again. That should be fine. Light him up. He's working. And copper goes in, and zinc goes in, and down goes the mixer. How cool is that? So, there he goes. He's... I guess doing it. I, I guess we don't really know for sure. Um, I am curious. Am I able to put a chute on the side of it? I don't think you can. I think instead of a chute, what we would need is... I believe it's called a funnel. I believe this is what it's called. It's either called a funnel or a tunnel. Um, I think it's a funnel, though. Let's have a look. Let's see the, the example. Yep. That's all we need to see. We need a funnel. So this uses some of the dried kelp. So make sure you don't craft all of it into those um, belts that we haven't even used yet. And some andesite alloys. And then what you can do is place it on the side. That looks absolutely horrific. Um, and I believe it needs to go actually go on a belt. Um, so what I'm going to do is do this, do this. Okay. And I want to have a belt running through here. So what I ideally want is something like this and something like this. Right? So, so two shafts connected up here. Then we can right-click one side with the belt, and then another side with a belt, and they connect. And here you go. It, it looks to be connected, right? You don't need these extra bits, um, but you do need some sort of rotational energy to get it all spinning, to get it all working. Um, and as you can see, some things can actually land on here, on the belt. You can right-click to take them off. It's that simple. Um, now, how can we get this rotating? Um, now, as you can see, there probably is a one way to do it, which is oh, to connect this guy here. And then possibly, like, I don't know, a gearbox and a other thing, right? I think that would work. I suppose, could I do two cogwheels? Maybe? I don't think the small cogwheels really work in... Yeah, they don't really work like that. I think I need a um, two, two gearboxes. So let's go ahead and make those. Alrighty, two gearboxes are collected. Let's place one here and one here. And I thought that would work. Although it appears to not be. Ah, yes, this needs to be, one of these needs to be a vertical gearbox. That, you know what, that makes a lot more sense. Vertical gearbox here, then we can place the gearbox there, and it's rotating. Now, obviously, we want this to rotate the other way, so we actually do need that gear shift we made before. We need one of these to be here. Eh, mm, we kind of need it to be not how it is. Uh, um... Oh my god, everything just needs to be slightly moved over. You know what? We can actually do that really easily. I don't know why I'm making a big deal of it. Um, we can place this guy here. Place the vertical gearbox down. <laughs> it's a little bit messy, but it's getting there. Um, 
Actually, I want this guy to be there first, right? Provide a redstone pulse. Redstone. Da -da -da. Redstone pulse, like that. Da -da -da. That didn't work. Maybe a lever. Then we can place the gearbox, and then we can place this. And it's running the wrong way again. Okay, well we can keep the gear, but we can keep that lever off. It's because I moved it from this cogwheel to this one, and they're spinning different ways. That's fine though. As you can see, we have it exporting the wrong material. Um, there is some brass in there though, so it, it is getting there. Is this? Hmm, they're not out of anything, so it should be working. So we can just collect all this stuff out. I think I could also just right-click this guy. We got so, oh, it made some copper blocks. Very strange. We also got brass though. We, we did actually get some. Okay. <laughs> so, what, what else did we need? We needed a brass casing, which needs two brass sheets. Brass or brass? Brass. 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 <laughs> I, don't, I don't really know. Um, we need a press. We need a mechanical press. Um, hmm. That works. I wasn't sure if we would have enough uh, power, but it, it appears to be working. We can place two of these. One, two. That'll get stomped. And that'll get stomped again. It looks like we accidentally put a filter on. Let's, um... Oh, my God. Oh, my God. It, our inventory is phenomenal. Phenomenally full. Um, let's put some of this stuff away. There we go. If you right-click with, with an empty hand, it gets rid of the filter. Um, okay. So, can we craft the thing now? Brass casing. Da-da-da. Done. Ooh, we get four of them. Okay. Um, did I put the rest of the brass away? I did. I do want that to come with me. Because now if we want to make that thing that we wanted to make, don't even remember what it was, to be honest. Um, it was one of these mechanical craftings. A flywheel. We need mechanical crafters. We need nine of them, to be exact. And, ooh. Yeah, we're actually going to spend three of the casings. That is perfect. All right, we need da -da 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 -da, three of these quartz. Oh, ladies and gentlemen, we're actually going to get something pretty cool done that I haven't actually messed around with before. And that is the mechanical crafting. We're going to get it done. Honestly, isn't this just cool? I, I feel like this looks really, really nice. It looks very... It looks a lot more advanced than it... I guess, than it really is. Um, so there we go. Let's now make the electron tubes. Three of those. Then we want to make... Da -da 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 -da, the mechanical crafters. Uh, looks like we're going to need some crafting tables. Crafting table. Da -da -da, one, two. There we go. Mechanical crafter. Boom. One... Oh, uh, we're going to need more stuff. Yeah, we're going to need more cogwheels. That's fine. That's fine. We have the stuff. It's getting there. And boom, we have nine mechanical crafters. Nine mechanical crafters. We have the extra brass case and the brass ingots. Now we need to provide these guys with rotational energy in the formation that we saw earlier, which is this. So one and then like um, eight like that. So... How do we want to do this? I guess we can try and do it here, maybe. So I now I'm not entirely sure how this works, but I think, oh, okay. I think you do it like this. So as you see, they multi-block together. Boom, boom, boom. Oh, a little bit of lag. Yep, a lot of bit of lag. That goes there, and I believe I need a wrench from um, create. So one of these wrenches, probably yeah, the one that looks. Pretty cool. It's going to need some gold planes. That's fine. We can do it. We can do it. Everything's fine. Da, 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 da. Here we go. Do that. That'll start stomping. Um, and essentially, we can get this guy crafting. We just need to have them all sort of connect. So I, I need this guy to instead go this way, which I possibly could do if I place it like this. Yeah, okay. I think that just works. I, I don't think we need the wrench. I, I still might make one. Maybe a little bit later, so this gold this gold stuff won't go to waste. But this is essentially it. Let's try placing the stuff on and see. I don't think it does anything. I think we need to provide it with rotational energy in terms of a gear on the side of here. Um, so, can we do that easily? Let's see. Um, do, 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 do. Cogwheels. I probably want the small ones for this because I would like to do oh, that. And then, no, no, I need it to turn, I believe. Da, da, da. I need a gearbox, possibly, I think. I think I need a gearbox. One of these to be like that. 
then I want to place it like this with another one next to it. Beautiful. Or possibly, I don't know if this will work, but just the large one instead? Will the large one reach? No. Okay. Oh, wait, wait, wait. I think I can place a large one and then a small one um, on that bottom corner, if it will let me. No, it doesn't, it doesn't really want to let me. So we'll, we'll just try it with two small cogwheels. So once that lets me open my inventory, <laughs> we will get another small cogwheel, which needs an andesite alloy, which we might not really have. A little bit tricky to make it. Here we go. Andesite alloy. I guess I'll make as many as I can. Da -da -da. Cogwheel. Boom, boom, boom. Crafting, crafting. There we go. And finally, that. Okay, it's stressed. I did expect that. Um, I am wondering, however, if I turn these off, will it start spinning? It is. It is. So now it doesn't use as much rotational energy. So these guys aren't causing as much stress. And now, as you can see, it's putting all the pieces together. How cool is this? So it's pretty slow. In fact, we could try... Let's see. Is one enough? Yeah, we can actually have it go a little bit faster. Here we go. So there it is. Oh, it's going in. It's crafting. And there we have it. We have ourselves a flywheel. How cool is that? Now, this guy's pretty cool. I, I'm not entirely sure what else we need for it, though. You can see it here. So the flywheel, which is this, connects to this other stuff and a furnace, right? And you fuel the furnace and it spins, which is pretty cool. Um, identify. Furnace. Furnace engine. Flywheel. And then, okay. So we need a furnace and a furnace engine. Furnace engine. What does this guy cost? <sighs> it's never easy, is it? We're going to need more brass. We need more brass. That's what we need. Donkey. Okay. This is not the end of the world, though. Zinc. I, I, I'm quite enjoying this. Hopefully, um, you guys are too. Copper. And hopefully, I can get some of this stuff done. So, ideally, what I want to do is throw one in and the second one in. Why? What are you doing? Come on, buddy. Let's let's disable that for a second. Let's just disable that for a, uh, for a real second. Um, pick up this stuff. Da, 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 da. Oh, how did it end up in there? Um, drop one. Drop one. Have that mix. I think he needs to be powered up. That's fine. Boom, 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 boom. Should start mixing. Any mixes? Does it need more copper? Ideally, I think it needs three copper, normally. So, the fact that it's not working is a little bit strange. Ah, it's not actually spinning fast enough. Ah, okay. I'm going to have to disconnect one of these cogwheels for now. Just to get this stuff back up at speed. There we go. Ah, oh, there we go. Now it's spinning. Beautiful. Alright, so what I want to do actually is get this brass, right click it on the side here as a filter, and then we can set up these um, conveyors again. And it should work as intended. Um, da -da -da, da -da -da. Hopefully. I'm hoping it will. So we can connect this. That'll work again. Um, it looks like it's automatically connected. It looks like we don't need to put a funnel on it, which is really cool. Um, so let's chuck this stuff in and see if that actually works. So hopefully it won't make blocks of items now. And instead it should hopefully just make brass. And it should just pop out like that. Now I wonder if I can just slap a chest on the side here. And see if anything happens. So far nothing. Let's put the funnel on the side. There we go. So now this guy is connected and getting brass. So we've essentially automated it. How cool is that? I quite like that. Um, so. What's next? I don't entirely remember. Brass casing. We need some plates. Easy enough. One, two. Boom. And boom. That is beautiful. I, I'm, I'm quite enjoying this. Um, so, furnace engine. Hopefully, I can... I, I want to get this set up, and then I feel like we can end it. Um, furnace engine. There it is. Furnace engine. Beautiful. Let's go ahead and bookmark it. So, we are going to need a piston. It can be sticky, or it cannot be sticky. I'm going to go for the one that isn't sticky. We also need five more of these. Was that five? I think so. I don't really remember. Oh, we have a lot of brass. Beautiful. Um, and we're going to want to rearrange this. So that it is like that, pretty much. Um, what we, yeah, you know what? That sort of works. What we could do if we want it to look a little bit nicer is do that. That's a little bit better for the OCD, isn't it? Very nice. How many do we have now? Seven? I think seven should work. So one of these is going towards brass casing. Um, and the rest of it is going towards the the furnace, right? So what what does this need? 
piston casing, and then these on the left. So boom, 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 boom. Um, oh, we want boom, boom. We want a casing, and then we want a piston. Da -da 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 -da, piston right there. Then what we're going to want to do is slow this down a bit, which that guy's not going to like. He's going to stop working, but that's fine. And simply connect a cogwheel, I believe. Cogwheel connected. Everything's rotating, everything's spinning, everything's combining. And we should have our product. Now, you can probably make these a little bit efficient, you know, have them all sort of end up in the middle, maybe. That might be a little bit faster. I don't really know. But there we go. Everything's connected. It's all going in. I like the animation. The animation's really cool. And there we have the furnace generator. It pops out. Here it is. Furnace engine. Furnace engine flywheel. Um, I've heard that a blast furnace is actually really good to use here. It doubles the speed. So we'll go ahead and make one. And in theory, <laughs> in theory, um, where do I want to actually attach this? I might actually want to attach it here. Now, I don't know if this is how it works, but I guess we'll figure it out, right? I want to connect this out here. Da -da -da. Um, flywheel. You know what? Let's rotate this around. The flywheel goes here. It looks, it's pretty big. Let's go ahead and break the ground so it, you know, at least looks a little bit realistic. So that goes there. Looks pretty cool. Uh, maybe we can break the front as well, just to make it look a little bit nicer. Um, then we connect a furnace engine onto this. Somehow. I don't really... I'm going to be honest. I don't really understand. Maybe I place the furnace with the furnace engine on it. Yeah, okay. Furnace engine facing that way. Does that... I feel like that makes sense. I feel like that's it. Then I put coal in here, right? And it's meant to just start doing its thing, <laughs> in theory, maybe, possibly. Now, obviously, it's not burning at the moment. I don't know if I actually have to smelt something in order to get it working. Let's have a look. Let's hold W and learn how this furnace engine works. Um, it kind of, it's not really placed like that, is it? Oh, let's go ahead and pick this stuff back up. Um, furnace engine. It looks to be more so like this, doesn't it? It has a little bit of a different design. Furnace here, maybe, with that there? Oh, there we go. Now that's connected. Okay, okay. Now I put the coal in. <laughs> okay, well, at least th this is actually connected now. So I'm on board with that. Um, yeah. So I think that's fine. Um, now, it is possible, before this even starts up, that it will be spinning the wrong way. So maybe I should keep this disconnected and see if that makes a difference. Um, okay. Let's look again. Let's watch again and make sure. So they're connected. It looks like that. While their attached furnace is running. Okay, so the, what they've done is they've put wood in the top so that they're like generating their own fuel back. Okay. Um, what we could probably do is just cobble because we have infinite cobble. So we'll have to hook this up with the system. But in theory... Oh, no, you can't put cobble in a blast furnace. Hmm... Okay, I, I see why a blast furnace is better now. Because there's only specific things you can do, right? In theory, though, let's have a look. Let's see, what kind of dust do we have? Do we have a crazy amount of something? I think we need these dust, though. What we could do <laughs> is we could just put an ore in there, right? Like, we have a bunch of emeralds. I could just put a bunch of emerald ores in there. Oh, a little bit of lag. So this guy's spinning. Oh, my God. Look at the stress that it can have. That is ridiculous. So is this spinning the right way? It is. Let's connect it. Okay. So now the whole system is spinning faster. You can see, you can see these guys are spinning faster too. So now I can hook this guy up. And now everything spins faster. Look at that. That is insane. So I think as well, if I get planks, like if I get four planks, can I do normal crafting as well? As well? Can I go like boom, 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 boom? And then what if I, oh, what if I disconnect all of these? Da, 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 da. And then connect the planks. Oh, did it eat my planks up? It looks like it did. Um, da, 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 planks. Boom. Can I do normal crafting? Oh, it's not even connected. Um, boom. Oh my god, you can. Oh, that is awesome. That is really cool. Look at this guy go. <laughs> that is actually insane. Look at how fast it's going. Everything's just going so much faster. I think this original speed that's coming in is a lot faster. And so everything else subsequently is even faster as well. Oh my god. So you know that max speed we saw before? I think you can go even faster. Because if the original speed coming in is faster, it seems like 
the final speed is ridiculously fast. That is awesome. Um, is this still going? Oh my god, it is. Yeah, look at it fly out. Okay, thank you guys for watching. Hopefully I can do some more create stuff. Let me know if you have any tips on how I can make this system better. Like, if, if there's a certain thing that, like, I don't need to do. Like, if this system can be reworked or if, um, you know, these cogs could be done differently. Do let me know because I'm interested to sort of get better at create. It, it's sort of like Redstone. If you get good at it, you can do a lot of really cool things. And even have them interact with other mods and make, like, make some really cool systems happen. And, and I really want to do that. So, yeah. Let me know what you think. Um... That's probably it. Thank you guys for watching. If you enjoyed, please do consider subscribing to the channel. It helps me out quite a bit. Um, if you want to join the server, you can do so too by joining the Discord. The link is below. All the information is there. You can come and play with us. Um, yeah, I'm pretty happy. And I'm also excited. There's quite a few other things you can do with Create. Um, right down to farming and even some sort of like um, vehicles you can make. It's it's very weird, but, but it, it definitely is exciting. Okay, goodbye.